Hi, so this is Matchmaker Didi, and today we'll be talking about the things we talk about regularly, which is things people go through on the platform. So this might help someone on the platform or somebody looking to join the platform. So our topic today is choices, and we will be talking about everything that has to do with choices. So first of all, we will be talking about the fact that some people expect you to have no choice based on the certain level you're at in your life. So you see this happens sometimes. A guy or girl send messages to another, you know, the opposite gender on the platform and the person doesn't respond to them. And instead of being able to take that rejection, they act like it's, you know, absurd that you should reject them. Like, aren't you single? Why would you reject anybody that comes to you? That's the impression some people have. So you see it happen a lot. And it's very triggering. I can imagine the way people feel. You know, people feel like, oh, why would you be mid-40s? And you have choices. You have someone talking to you. And you're still doing shakara. I'm like, look, a husband is not hard to find. A wife isn't hard to find. And I promise you. Because go out to the streets right now and just shout, who wants to marry me for free? Like, just you know yourself you can just go and get anybody to marry you if it's the marriage that was the issue but the thing is that people want a good husband and a good wife and that's why people just don't accept anybody that just comes and in some people's situation they're not trying to shame people either they just don't know better or they're not able to put their words properly so it looks like they're shaming people which is like a similar encounter i had with someone on the platform so I'm going to just show you what the chat was like. You know, he's a nice person, but the message came across as shaming, which he explained was not shaming. You know, so he had sent messages to people on the platform and they hadn't responded. So in his opinion, he's like, are they even serious? People tend to, you know, ask that question. Men and women, they do that thing where if people are not responding to them or they're rejecting them, then they're like, they're not serious. They automatically put it on that person being the reason why you know they aren't getting any response so they're like this person is not serious about getting married joe i've heard women say it a lot men say it a lot as well and what it really is is that that person is not interested in you but they don't want to accept the fact that it's about them so instead they rather just term it as the person isn't serious and wouldn't accept anybody in general it's just how we deal with rejection sometimes and also he made a statement that uh, waiting them define we let me try my pigeon well waiting, waiting them define we had like this <laughs> we had like that because sometimes they also it's still a part of not being able to accept the rejection like uh, what are they looking for that i don't have but the thing is you're not jello fries everybody cannot like you both men and women fall into this category where they feel like uh, uh why would this person reject me but the truth is everyone has their type and you cannot fit into everyone's type. And don't think because of whatever level or situation that person is in that they must accept you as a date. You know, so and then the next conversation I had with him was him saying his preference and stuff like that. But what led to that before then was when he said, oh, they are 30 years and divorced and they still want a young or married man. That statement to me just made it seem like he feels like they shouldn't have a choice because they're divorced at 30 years. In his mind, they shouldn't have a choice of men. They should just pick anybody that comes their way. You know, like, mm, why should you be choosy? You should just pick anything. And that's triggering. And he has a preference as well for only widowed and divorced people. And he states the reason why he has a preference. So I'm like, if you can have a preference, why do you think, or why do you think those ladies shouldn't have a preference as well? So he's divorced and his preference is for widowed and divorced ladies and he states the reason why is because the experience that will be more serious. And he is he chose ladies that were divorced and widowed and at 30 years. He is about 12 years older than these ladies. And then he assumes that they shouldn't have a choice, you know, like you're 30 and divorced and you still want this. But they're allowed to have a choice just as well as you're allowed to have your choice. Whether you think their choice is absurd and unrealistic is left to them. Whether they think your choice is unrealistic as well is left to you. But they're allowed to have a choice just like you're allowed to have a choice. 
So basically, everybody's allowed to have their choice. You have your choice over the kind of ladies that you want. And these ladies have a choice to the kind of guys they want. They might have rejected you because maybe the age difference is too much for them. It might not be any other thing. Maybe it's just the age difference that's too much for them. It could be something that you're not in control of, but everyone is allowed to have their choice. Having your choice is one thing. Finding that choice is a different thing. And that's what we're going to talk about next in this topic called choices because you can want one thing but can you get it it's like wanting a billion dollar job right now but are you positioned for a billion dollar job like in this scenario with this lady her choice was never married christian yoruba guy 40 to 42 at most 45 and this is an okay criteria of course but then her age is in her mid 40s and with probability of statistics, which we deal with a lot on this platform, and we love to be transparent with you. We're not trying to discourage you from having a choice. When we're transparent with you, some people think we're trying to tell them, look, don't have this choice or don't have a list. No, that's not what we're doing. When we're being realistic with you and transparent with you, it's like we want you to, ex to know what to expect. So we're going to tell you, like, look, your choice is final. But know that you're going to have a smaller pool of individuals. So we try to do that and tell you, look, instead of having maybe 10 people to choose from, you might end up having three to choose from. So we want you to be aware and prepare that, oh, with my choice I've put up, my list I've put up, I'm going to have fewer people to choose from. Is that okay with me? Then I keep going. If it's not okay with me, then I might adjust my list. So what we want to do is just communicate that with you. We want to be as transparent as possible. And that's why we would ask you that. And we'll typically also ask you, like, is there a reason for this criteria? Because when you see, oh, never married 40-year-old guy, we're like, oh, is there a reason for this criteria? Do you want to widen your brackets? And then we can advise you based on that reason. And we have two different kind of people. So we've had... um. So we've had the people like this lady where we advise you based on your probability and statistics like look you're going to have a smaller pool are you okay with that i would personally advise that you increase your pool by being a little lenient with what you want and not sacrificing you know the actual characteristic but just on certain things and then we have person a that would be like nope i know what i want and i'm sticking to it till the very end and we can't do anything about it it's your choice ultimately obviously and then we have person b that we can give the advice as well and say we'll advise you to open up to everyone just focus on meeting a good person and she's like okay thanks i'll take your advice let's do this and it doesn't mean that one will be more successful than the other just because one took our advice and one didn't take our advice the only difference here is that one has a wider pool to choose from so the first lady might have a pool of four guys to choose three from right so her choices are now limited and she has to choose three from four and the other lady might have 12 to choose her three from so she has a wider option and i personally prefer having a wider option because you know how when nigerians always say that ah, I, when it comes to politics nigerians are like oh i picked the better of two evils you know i feel like when you have fewer choices you're almost forcing yourself to pick the better of two evils it's like I don't have a lot of choices let me just pick the least worst one that's what i see that scenario as and that's why i don't really like it i'd rather people have a wider range to choose from so i rather you're like okay let's have sport for choice yes okay so i'm gonna choose based on because there's a lot so you're gonna choose you know with your mind with your heart with your chest as opposed to i only have four and i need to choose three so i'm gonna just pick the least worst people i don't know if that english even sounds right but you understand what i mean so and again like i said we ask people the reason why they're actually sticking to their options so we can explain it a little bit better in case it might help you or it might not help you so with this beautiful lady here we explain to her like what are you you know why actually are you open to only the, this option of people so why don't you want divorce or widowers and she said because with divorce she can't say what you know what made their marriage not work and i'm like yeah but remember that every divorced individual was once never married right so if someone picks based on the way you've chosen or your criteria like oh i want a never married individual and they get married to them something happens they get divorced that person automatically turns from never married to divorced 
So it doesn't make that person a bad person, which isn't what she said. Anyway, she didn't say the person was bad. But I was trying to let her see that divorce is a, it's a title, it's a thing that comes, but what person wasn't born with it, you know? So I told her, you know, relationships are a risk. You can't keep looking for, I can't tell what this is going to be like. It's a risk. You don't know. You can't tell what made the person divorce, right? If the person has issues, you don't know. The same way you can't tell if the mid-40s guy that you want, the reason why he's never been married, you can't tell if he has issues as well. So both parties, you really can't tell if a person has issues or not. You can't run away from things like that. That's why people take risks and go into relationships. Everybody that went into a marriage, you know, I don't think their intention was to divorce and say, oh, I'm going to divorce after a year or two. No. So I think they intentionally wanted it to last, but something happened. So you actually just have to realize that with relationships, it's part of those unknown things. It's a risk and that's just how it is. So hopefully this topic choices did help a couple of people. I hope it did. And um, if you have any questions, let us know. Send us an email. I'm going to put in the bio or our thumbnail, our blog, where you can get the gist up front and real quick. And our website where you can go and meet other singles according to what you want. And we're going to put our contact number there in case you have questions that you can ask about different membership levels and just find out which one would best work for you.